that time Coelia is like uh, Manchester of United Kingdom. Yeah. Factory city. Everywhere. And uh, at that time uh, this city was so rich and the people so rich. Right now maybe it's not that that yes. much but mm, it's a process, you know. Yes, um, here they have the perfect conditions to prepare fabric, fabrics, especially with wool, because in South Australia they can um, create and rise ships. And also, the Serra de Estrella, there is a olive oil called Serra de Estrella. Yes. They are using this all over the Portugal. I see. Yeah. And they have the water too, that is really important yeah. to work with fabrics. So, perfect conditions to be here, and they were in the past. I can't believe that they really were a great city. And all that history they care, I can feel it every day when I walk on yeah. the street. Because we still find old houses, old churches, and even statues. And street art is uh, the best in Coelia, I can definitely say this. Yes. Did you see the ball that uh, all uh, contains azulejos? We call it ceramics. Yes, yes. It's beautiful, you know. Also, there's something really beautiful in the city the modern and urban artists. Mm. People that make some drawings, some paintings, and it's really different because you can see something that's really new beside yeah. something old that is also really beautiful. I yeah. think that's awesome. And how about Portugal? Yeah, Portugal. <laughs> Very good country. <laughs> I like this place. Um, some places here remind me of Brazil. Of course, Brazil is pretty different. But when I go up a mountain and I can see all the beautiful horizon, I remember my land. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Um, I had good moments with people here, with Portuguese people. Also bad moments. But I think it's part of the journey. Yeah, for sure. And a it's a small country, of course, but they have even being in a small country, very different places. Yeah. Right? I, I believe you know this more than me. Yeah. You know uh, Portugal better than me. It's my second Erasmus here. And I live uh, north side of Portugal, uh, Barcelos, next to Braga. And each city has different stories, but in general, uh, Portugal has lots of uh, different stories that you couldn't even um, know all of them but I know, I think I know like 20% of uh, Portuguese stories but uh, each story has different conditions, different things uh, sometimes it's really uh, curious and knowing this is uh, beautiful, you know, sometimes uh, People don't aware of this, and if if I say this, I know this, I know this, I know this. They were surprised, and even they uh, they were shocked. You know, it's really a good thing to know uh, a culture and their history. For example, uh, we are came in here, we are uh, coming here to know different cultures. Yes, and. Uh, for me, it's uh, it should be more information about Portugal. Yes. For comparing others, because you live that place. Yeah, I agree with you. Totally. So uh, I really want to know, and I'm trying to learn Portuguese. I had an exam, A1. I think <laughs> it, it was easy, probably because. Uh, I study uh, that uh, too much and I think my accent is really good yeah. if I compare. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you, I think I will probably pass. In Portugal, I think it's really important to try to learn a little bit of the language because the language here tells you a little bit of the history. Yeah. Like Covidian, people told me that is. Um, a connection of two words, cova, jinyan, jinyan, it's like lamb, that means wool, so you already can imagine, 
of food. Mm. It's nice, it's nice. And the uh, Portuguese language class uh, taught me lots of stories, you know, for Azulejuj, for Portuguese culture, and uh, for example, uh, Portuguese, por Portuguese uh, bird uh, has uh, in many languages, but for uh, calling orange. Calling orange? Yeah, because that land is also called uh, land of orange. Really? Yes. And um, you know, in Tur Turkish language, we uh, call orange portakal. Oh, that's nice. It's nice. Portugal and Portuguese. It's yeah. Stick together, you know. It's like uh, people don't say uh, to print. For example, they uh, in many countries they use Xerox. I will use Xerox. That uh, brand is stick with the word. Yeah. Uh, yes. Something like this, and it's you know curious and I'm really curious to know uh, all these different things. Can you tell me the history of Azulejo? Uh, yes, uh, at the time uh, Portugal and Spain uh, was a one land and they call it Iberia. Uh, at that land uh, Andalus uh, Muslim people come uh, to the like Malaga, Sevilla, Cordoba, Granada, that, that places and start to build mosques uh, in Portuguese, Mesquita and uh, as a part of uh, mosques uh, they use ceramics, lots of ceramics inside of the mosque to make art with the uh, religion and it's, as I said, it's stick together and after Portuguese people uh, saw this, uh, they changed uh, the style. For example, uh, in in the Muslim uh, culture, they use uh, lots of uh, lime, only lime. But uh, after the Portuguese people changed this, they use uh, to make like old people, famous people, uh, top of the. Uh, ceramic and it becomes different thing for the Portuguese culture they call it azulejos but uh, azulejos comes from the old uh, Muslims like uh, Andalus Muslims and that time it's also a part of history yeah oh congratulations for the good art <laughs> for people it's amazing we have some azulejos in Brazil too and I love all of them. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and it's different, you know, uh, it comes from that side and it goes another continent. Yeah. Uh, it's different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, after the Erasmus program, what things change in your life? In your perspective, mm. everything, everything you want to say? Hard question. Yeah. I think that's the, the hardest one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, before we start, you said uh, it's not finished yet, but yeah, you know, sometimes it changed. Yeah, it's not finished yet, but I already can imagine what I'm gonna feel that changing. Mm. Here, I, I get in touch with people that I could never imagine getting in touch with people from countries that I don't even know, I've never been there. But I can feel a little bit how, how we come from that yeah. country. Like people from Poland, from Turkey, from Nigeria, from Angola. Um, it's really rich to be with all the different yeah. people. And I don't know, I think it makes me better. Makes me someone that can understand the other's culture. To try to um, not be xenophobic. No. Um, also being here, coming to a different country, was a challenge because I'm afraid of heights and I had to fly twice. Yeah. yeah, it was my first flight. So I think uh, when I come back to Brazil, 
I will be a little bit more uh, brave. <laughs> more confident. Yeah, yeah. To face this True. kind of, yeah. of challenges and also to start a life in a new country where, in a new city where I know nobody. And you are, um, you miss your family, your friends. Yes. And me, uh, this hard moment when I miss the people that is important to me and find a way to carry on and also to know me better. I think that, yeah. Um, and this is the most important thing, you know. Uh, it's my second Erasmus and each journey is different for me because um, we are here, we are in the life and in life everything is changed. Everything is uh, a process of changing. Yeah. And uh, we don't aware of this if we are not talking, if we are not uh, thinking of this. And you know, this journey was the best. Yes. And, uh, I'm really uh, excited to make another one. Yeah, do it, do it. Another <laughs> one, you know? <laughs> Where? For sure. Where to go again? I'm not sure of this, <laughs> but uh, we will see you in the next videos. <laughs> yeah, and there is one aspect that makes me think it's really important during an exchange program. You had a sense of freedom yeah. from the influence of other people that sometimes held you in a position. But now you're free. You are about to discover uh, what makes you you. Your own limits, for sure. your own questions, your own problems, and I think that is something that also. And you have to discover uh, yourself and your body. You know, you have uh, positive uh, sides, negative sides. You are seeing this uh, more clearly. Yes. And you, if you uh, want to change anything about yourself, you can uh, think more clear and. Uh, you can be uh, more successful. Yes, also it's a moment to think about your place, your country, from the outside, For not sure. um, in that reality. You can see the things like that is your experiment, that you know all the aspects, yeah. you live all that things, you know that culture. And actually, it's a uh, first-hand source, for example. For me, uh, knowing Brazil, uh, is uh, I didn't go there. I have never been there. I really want to go there. It's a true. It's a fact. And uh, for me, you is the best and the most reliable uh, oh. source to know a little you. more. Thank you. Yeah, it's true. You know, uh, you live there. You come here, and uh, we are not here as a Erasmus student, we are also an ambassador of yes, our countries. That's true. It's my view of Erasmus. Yeah. Here, um, I've never felt so Brazilian in my life. <laughs> yes, <laughs> of course. And in this last month, I've been having strong feelings about my state, about yeah. all the history we had there. Because um, now I know people from different um, states of Brazil that I never met before, For sure. and it makes me me more Mineiro, as um, how we call people from Minas Gerais, than never. I don't know if you feel the same, but... For sure, uh, in Turkey we have uh, 81 cities, 81 different cities, and uh, even we have uh, like 25 uh, Turkish people, Turkish Erasmus student here, and you know, each of them almost uh, different cities in Turkey. And as you said, we have different food, we have different speaking, even different accent. Music. Different, different music. music. Yes. Oh, lots of things. Yeah. And you also like history and being, uh, being connected with the history. And oh, this is a living history, you know? <laughs> yeah. It will be uh, yeah. <laughs> sitting on the YouTube, like 10. 10 years later, 20 years later. Yes, so. yes. Maybe 10 years later, I go to Turkey and we have a new video. Yeah, for <laughs> sure, for sure. If you come, just uh, call me and even we can't meet, I can help you to go 
to get somewhere to uh, find the bus, everything, you know. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, Joa, thank you. It's, it was a pleasure to meet you and also uh, doing this uh, historical moment. It's uh, for everything. Thank you. Oh, the pleasure is all mine and you are welcome to go to Brazil. <laughs> for sure. I will definitely come. Uh, I don't know which time, but I will definitely come. Yeah, too. My first plan is Singapore and the second one it was Brazil and yeah. especially Rio. Yeah, I've never been in Rio. So this is your first yeah. chance to go there, you know? <laughs> okay, okay, we, we will meet in Rio. I hope. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you again. Thank you. And uh, see you guys on the next video and keep following. Uh, it's a good way to know different countries, different people. And thank you again, Joa. Uh, see you. See, um, até mais to the Brazilian. Até mais. Até mais to the Brazilian. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hello, guys. If you like this video, you can subscribe my channel. You can uh, see my other videos, and you can share this video with your friends. Thank you so much.